This is Zach Morton from Traveler's Rest, South Carolina. You've tuned in and you're going to watch another great edition of Outdoors with the Morgan. So welcome back everyone, Mike here. It is just a fabulous day out here in the woods. Just about perfect. Nice and cold, 
although it is starting to warm up but uh, clear skies just a really really nice day I'm down here cutting up this oak tree if you uh, saw the last video I'll put it up above I had one that was leaning real hard off of another tree and I took it down because eventually those things just break off and they rip part of the tree with it but uh, it is some really really good firewood it's red oak all just about the right size nothing you know too big that it's hard to handle but it makes a lot of firewood I have a bunch cut up over here and some more over there. I don't think I'll fit it all in uh, one bucket load. So what I'll probably do is get the bucket filled up and then I'll hook on to the rest of it and at least get it up on top of the hill there where it's flat. Because down in here, I can't get down in here if it's uh, wet or, or anything like that at all. I got a big steep hill there to climb to get up on the flat. And the ground is frozen right now, but this morning I think it was about 12 degrees and it's already up to about uh, 30 right now. So the temperature's rising fast. So I think what I'll do, like I said, I'll get this rest of this loaded up, maybe cut a few more pieces, and then skid that last pole the whole way up to the, you know, up to the flat part there, and I can get it at really any time. All right, that is a pretty good jag of red oak right there. If you're not familiar with red oak, very, very heavy wood. What I'm gonna do is get turned around, go up the trail a little bit, and I'll winch that uh, last piece up over to the trail and then skid it up to the top. seldom do I use low range in this tractor but I'm going to now uh, I've got this good jag of red oak in the firewood bucket and pulling that log and it's a steep hill
So I've been wanting to start building some uh, wood sheds, both for firewood and for lumber. It's Melissa. I know what this is about. Put you on speaker. Hello. Hello. What are you doing? Someone here is carrying around the BK menu. Hunter is carrying around the Burger King menu. So yeah. <laughs> that's funny. All right. I'm up to the phone right now. <laughs> okay, Hunter, I'll be there in five minutes. Okay. All right. Deal. All right. All right. Bye. Bye. But anyway, I gotta get Hunter to Burger King. It's Saturday. That's his thing. I've been wanting to build some uh, wood sheds, both for firewood and for lumber. And I was planning on starting on that this morning, but I'm probably gonna start tomorrow. When it's like this out here, I gotta get out in the woods and do something. I mean, I got no mud on the tires. I got a nice jag of wood I'm carrying out. Uh, yesterday, I got some more of that red pine out for the sawmill. So if I don't take those opportunities when the weather's good, next thing you know, you're over there with no wood to split and no wood to saw. So on days like that, days like this, that's why I'm out here. But anyway, RK tractors. A lot of people have been asking about the RK tractors. Every video, I'm seeing comments from four or five people. I'm not sure if it's the same four or five people. I'd have to go back and look. And I've gotten a few emails and Facebook messages asking what the deal is with the RK tractors as far as my partnership goes with them. If you've been following our channel for a while, you know that uh, about two years ago, a little over two years ago, uh, I entered a partnership with uh, RK Tractors to use the RK55 that you see right here, the RK37, and the RK24 with some attachments. And it would get them some exposure because it was a new brand, and it would get me a lot of use on the property. I could put them to work, and it worked out really well. And as far as the tractors go, let me say this. I have not had a bit of trouble with any of the tractors. The uh, only thing I did have, the RK24, the uh, seat, when I was using a backhoe a whole bunch, you know, and spinning the seat back and forth, back and forth, the safety switch unplugged, I plugged it back in. But that is literally the only problems I've had with any of the tractors. Uh, I use them pretty hard. As you can see, I lift and carry heavy things, but I don't really abuse anything. You know what I mean? I mean, I work them, there's no doubt about it, but there's a difference, at least in my mind, between working something hard and abusing it. Uh, there's a big difference, actually. You can tell, you know, at work in my real job, uh, we build well pads. I kind of oversee all those operations, and you can see guys that really work equipment and work it efficiently, and you see guys that are just kind of rip roaring around, not getting a lot done, and kind of abusing equipment. So there's a difference there, at least in my opinion. But back to the tractors, I haven't had any problems at all with them. They're good tractors. They all have Yanmar diesel engines in them. Uh, but yeah, they, they're, they're strong. They're really strong tractors. And the lifting capacity on all of them was uh, what's well, very impressive to me. It really is. But as far as the partnership goes with RK, uh, I should have an answer to that probably next week sometime. Give me two weeks, all right? It's probably going to be before that. But a lot of people keep asking about it. Uh, it doesn't really matter, uh, but I know you're curious if you've been following our channel for a while. So you'll be hearing something soon on what we're going to be doing here. Uh, but yeah, we should know something pretty soon. But as far as the tractors go, and I get emails all the time asking about, you know, this or that, or will they deliver a tractor here? I have no idea if they'll deliver a tractor where you're at. You'll have to call them. I'm just run this stuff is what I do and I'm impressed with the tractors. I am. Uh, it's been a good run the last two years and I should know, like I said, in the next week or two uh, what it'll look like going forward and that's all I can say right now. But anyway, we're going to head over to the house because I got to take Hunter to Burger King and you're going to see somebody that you haven't seen for quite a while. All right, Hunter has his uh, Burger King gift card so that's where we're going to head right now. We're going to take the Jeep. It's in the garage. Hannah, why are you walking funny? <laughs> My hips are sore. From doing what? All rowing for an hour. Rowing for an hour. Not an hour straight, but intervals, but you have to hit specific paces. Mm. I cut firewood for an hour and a half. It's probably much harder than that rowing. I don't think so. You don't think so? No. I'd you, like to see you row. I'd like to see you do firewood. Okay, deal. All right, we're here at Burger King. Thank you for choosing Burger King. I'll take your order whenever you're ready. Uh, one moment, please. What are you doing, Hunter? Spicy chicken? Can I have a uh, number 10 with a medium Diet Coke? 
All right, what else can I for you? That's it. All right, total is going to be a 14 second window, please. All right, you better check your order. Is it all right? So remember I said I'm going to show you someone you hadn't seen in a while? Grandson Ty. Ty! Sun's in his eyes. Oh. Where's your boots at? Yeah, I didn't put them on them. So on Friday, which we call Ty Day, Ty spends the night. Yeah. Ty was born on October 5th. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so he's a little over four months old. He was born the day we were at the uh, Paul Bunyan show. That's right. Hi, Ty. Can you wave hi? Ruger. He loves to hold on to this. Ruger in the background there. That's nice. <laughs> block it. <laughs> yeah, block. So what do you think, Ty? It's a Ty? family show. What do you have to say? <sighs> He's very easygoing. Very relaxed. How long did he sleep last night? Oh, he went to bed at nine and slept till six. Huh. Yeah, none of my kids did that. And I talk about it as if it was yesterday. <laughs> so I think, yeah. I think I'm, I'm scarred. My kids are like, you bring up all these things as though it just happened. I'm like, I know I need to let it go, but my kids are screamers. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I think it scarred me because I talk about it. That's a pretty nice coat you got there. He does have a nice winter coat. He needs his boots on. It is only it's like 38 degrees right now, but it, it feels like it's 50 with the sun shining like it oh, is. Oh, the sun feels really good. It's, it's just such a nice day. It's just beautiful. Get outside. Even if it's for 10 minutes, just get outside. It does your, your body and your spirit and your mental mind. It does, it does you good. I know one thing. The sunshine does my uh, mental mind. I get yeah. When it's overcast yeah. and you don't see the sun for four no. days or five days and rainy every day. It just... It well, just Weather like this. Sunshine is little, good for your soul. It really is. A little bounce in your step. That's right. Be thankful we have it. Well, hey, Ty, do you want to end this video for us? Yeah. All you got to do is say, if you like these videos, hit the like button, click subscribe, and share them with your friends. Okay, ready? Ready? Go. If you like these videos... You're going to have to work on that, I think. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? All right. If you like these videos, hit the like button, subscribe, and share them with your friends. <laughs> Hello. It's Mark from Percival, Virginia. Thanks for watching another video of Outdoors with the Morgans. If you like, subscribe, and share them with your friends. Have a day.